is equal to connected so what this will do is it will show the message that our port or our client 1 and client 2 are connected and then it will disable this start button now when this happens we also need to enable the send message button so this button copy just select it and copy the name of this button which is button 2 in my case you can change it as send button or something like this and just below this dot enabled and this time this will be true because we need to enable this and we also need to set our focus on this send message uh, text box so just select this text box copy the name of this text box which is text message in my case and just below your button enabled code just below that paste your text message box uh, name dot focus bracket and bracket close so what it will do is it will set the focus on this message box once the connection is established right so this is for setting our connection or starting our connection okay now we uh, should be able to send the message so we will write the code for this send message button so just double click this send button and in here we will write our code so first of all we will uh, make a try catch block so that it can catch if any exception occurs so here write this try catch block try and catch exception and show the message in the ca catch block and in the, this try block what we will do is we will convert our string whatever we write in the message text box into bytes so it can uh, go on the network so write this system dot text dot ascii encoding and give it a variable name enc in my case is equal to new system dot text dot ascii encoding bracket and bracket closed and now we will declare a byte array just below this code so declare a byte array like this byte square bracket message this is the variable name is equal to new byte and the size of byte and in the next line we will take the message from our message text box and transfer in this byte message array right so write this message variable here is equal to enc which is this variable dot get bytes and then inside the bracket we will just go here in the form just select this text message name which is text message once again and go to the code and we will just paste it here get bytes and in the bracket text message dot text now in the next line we will send the message so this is the byte array and we will send the message to the other client so we will write sck dot send and in the bracket we will pass this message variable here so it will send the message to the client in the form of bytes right so once it sends the message you also need to be able to see it on the list box right so just copy the name of this list box which is list message in my case and go here and just below your 
send message code paste your list box name dot items dot add and bracket and bracket close and in here first of all we will give the argument who is sending the message so it's you only so you can write you or me or something like this plus whatever is there in the text box this send text box so just copy the name message text from here and in this list box argument after you just give it a colon and then the message box name dot text okay so this will show the message which you are sending in your list box also so you should be able to see your own message also and now we want to clear this text box once you send the message so you will be able to type the other message so just copy this text message here just below that dot clear and bracket and bracket closed so it will clear your text message so now I think our code is complete if you want you can just pause the video and copy the code for this send button click event okay and this is the code and if you also want you can just I will just focus on this start button code also so you will you can copy this code so just pause the video and copy this code for the start connection button okay now once you are done with all this code what we need is we need to go to our solution so just go to the solution explorer right click your solution name and click this open folder in windows explorer it will open the folder in which your project is there just click this project and go in the bin debug and this is our executable file so just double click it and it will open the executable file but we need two files to run one for the client one one for the client two so just double click it once again so now we have two files running at the same time now we need to give the port number so for client 1 port number is 80 for example and client 2 port number is 81 and this is reverse for this client because for client 1 this is client 1 so the client ID for client 2 is 81 but here the client is 81 client 1 is 81 and client 2 is 80 right because these are two different clients so just do that and after you enter the client name just click this start button so when I press this start button nothing is happening so I think what mistake I have done is I haven't built my project so what I will do is go to my project once again go to build and I will build solution once again and rebuild solution once again so it will build my solution and now I will go to the app once again here and now I will run two applications one is 80 80 80 and 81 and here 81 and 80 right now I will click this start button 
and it will give you the warning for the security warning just allow and now it's connected the same thing do it for client 2 just click start button and now it's connected now you will be able to send the message so let's see hi send and see here here also hi now here you can write hello YouTube and send the message and here also this message comes so whatever you write here it will come here and whatever you write here it will come here so in this way you can make a chat application with your C sharp windows form application I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.